Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! box opening video. I'm glad I've been able to do these. I've been finding these things at really good prices, so I figure, you know what, get them and open them. Um, so, I have today, I have a Battle Pack 3 Monster League booster box, uh, which is the successor, spiritual successor to Battle Pack 2, which had all the god cards in it. Um, and that's what we're going to do for you today. We're going to open this guy up. <clears throat> you have uh, 36 packs in the box, 5 cards per pack. Um, you can get, I don't know if you can see there, you guaranteed one rare and one Shatterfoil rare, um, or one Shatterfoil card, excuse me, uh, in every pack. Um, that's the new rarity they introduced with Battle Pack 3, just like how Mosaic Rare was the new one that they introduced with Battle Pack 2. Um, so, that's pretty cool. It's the only way you can get Xyz monsters in this Battle Pack, which I don't actively use. However, we are going to be looking for Xyz monsters, specifically Digusto Emerald and um, Ghost Trick Alucard, uh, because those are the ones that are worth the most out of here, and I would definitely would like my money back on the box so I can buy more and open more. Um, so that will be pretty cool. They are pretty rare, so I don't know if we're going to get them, sort of similar to the God cards, but uh, we're going to try nonetheless, that's for sure. Um, so just to open this guy up right off the bat, there are, and it is a little bit bent because of the guy that shipped it, packed it in a manila envelope and not a box so it's a little bit distraught here but that is it's okay because it's I'm not caring really about the box I really care more about the cards um, so let's go right side here we have 18 packs off of the right side so without any further ado let's get going remember digusto emerald is what we're looking for and uh, ghost trick alucard both shatter foil um, so I have one chance to get each of them in every pack. Uh, I believe it's the second one, but we'll do second and third just to be sure. So right off the bat here we get Creature Swap and Umino Taurus, Chaos Burst, and then our Shatterfoil is Plant Food Chain. I don't know if you can see the Shatterfoil. Yeah, looks like broken glass type of thing, which I think is a pretty cool design actually. Um, and then our rare is Eye Iron, so we'll put rares there, we'll put Shatterfoils right there. Commons can go up here. Pack number two. That is really cool. That is a cool looking art. Uh, this is a first edition box as well. I don't know if I mentioned that in the little intro. But I guess we apparently have Forbidden Dress again. Because that's, I guess, a common theme of the battle packs. So, hey, whatever. Uh, oh, no, was it? Yeah, it was these two. We have a common Call of the Haunted Electromagnetic Bagworm, a uh, Forbidden Dress, and then our Shadow Foil is Memory Loss, and our Rare is Mudora. The card gains 200 attack for every fairy type monster in your graveyard. Cool, cool. And I will throw that right there because that is also a card of interest. I don't know if the Forbidden cards still have value um, in Battle Pack 3, but it is certainly a card of interest nonetheless. And these packs open up a lot easier than uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, the Yugi Kaiba Duelist Pack ones do. So I'm really thankful for that because I can preserve them a lot better. Uh, three cards. Our commons here. We have Valhalla Hall of the Fallen, Gorgonic Golem, Magicians Unite. Our Shatterfoil is Mist Valley Falcon, and our rare is Night Day Greffer. Still looking for Alucard and a Digusto Emerald. Even one Digusto Emerald and one Alucard uh, would be super helpful because uh, Digusto Emerald is like $24 by himself, so that's that'd be pretty fantastic. Um, but really, any Xyz monster, because it made Xyz cards a lot harder to get by making them only Shatterfoil, um, so their value for the ones that are in this pack specifically actually went up because of that, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we have commons, our Forgotten Temple of the Deep, Evil Swarm O Lantern, and Bound Wand, and our Shatterfoil is Gentle Mander, and our rare is Koakimiru Guardian. Okay. We do have 36 packs to go through, so I'm thinking we'll get at least one Alucard, if not a Digusto Emerald, although he is actually, I believe, harder to get than uh, Digusto Emerald is. Which is sort of interesting. Alright. 
units. Commons, we have Night Beam, which is card art that I really like. I don't know why. It reminds me of the Millennium Puzzle on the inside, so that's kind of cool. Night Beam Shredder with three Ds, if you do not notice. That's not a, that's not a typo. Curse of Anubis, and our Shatter Foil is... Vampire Koala. <laughs> Vampire Koala. Interesting. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by battle with a monster, gain life points equal to the battle damage inflicted. Hmm. And then a rare Goblin Elite Attack Force. So that's pretty cool. Get our commons back over here. Um, I guess the big complaint, too, about this box uh, is that when you buy it, you don't really often make your money back on it. Um, and I don't know if that's at full price or if that's at auction price, um, but I guess that's the common thing that people don't like about Battle Pack uh, 3, as opposed to Battle Pack 2, where you frequently got like Card Card D or Breakthrough Skill or one of the Forbidden Cards or something like that. I'm going to stop flipping around just in the interest of time. So we have Fighting Spirit, our mos or, uh, not Mosaic, our Shatterfoil is Quantum Cat, our Rare is Cross Sword Beetle, uh, and then Noble Arms, some word, and Koakimiro War Arms are the other commons that we have. Back to our Dinosaur Booster Pack. They do a really cool card art on these, or card art, uh, pack art. And I kind of do like that. I do like the god cards more, though. Often comparing this to Battle Pack 2. We have Ghost from the Past, a Shatterfoil Bound Wand, a rare Koaki Miru Wall, a common Dark Bribe. Very nice. That's of interest for sure. And then another a common Dark, Crusade, Dark Crusader Hello Speech Impediment. Thank you. Right out of the pack, we have a common Rush Recklessly Bull Rush if you're an idiot, a Battlestorm for our Shatterfoil, a Machine King Prototype for our Rare, which is pretty cool, uh, and then Miracle Fertilizer, and Mythical Beast Cerberus for our commons. Our insect looking pack here. We have Psychic Sword, a Shatterfoil Raging Mad Plants, a Skelosaurus, there we go, that's the cool uh, cool art I was looking at before, is our rare, and then our other commons are Mind Over Matter and Gale Lizard. Okay, and moving on now that I know the name of it, moving on to our Skelosaurus pack out of the right side. Still hoping for a Digusto. Come on, Digusto Emerald. Come on, any Xyz monster, to be honest, which is not something you'll hear me say very often. Or ever. Uh, one Shot Wand. Our. Oh, nice! A Shatterfoil Swords of Concealing Light. Very nice. A rare Aztecapede, the Worm Warrior. Interesting naming convention on that one. Uh, Alien Brain and a Jerry Beans Man, a normal card. Very, you don't really get those anymore. Uh, Jerry, a bean soldier, believes he is the strongest warrior in the world, but his true abilities are still untested. Poor guy, probably can't test his abilities against anyone because he, well, he's a bean soldier and people don't know he's a soldier or something. Some random train of thought that I'm having. All right, on to our seriously unnamed dude card art. You guys don't know I don't really play by the uh, latest and greatest of what's out as far as Yu-Gi-Oh cards go, so if I don't know these cards, you'll have to forgive me, uh, because I'm not going to know most of them. A common kunai with chain, a shatterfoil fighting spirit, another rare Koaki Miru wall, a machine assembly line, and Fabled Ashen Veil for the rest of our commons. On to another mysterious bug character. Here. 
We have Watt Adjustment as our first common. Our Shatter Foil is Earthquake. Uh, our Rare is Black Velocity. And then our other commons are Offerings to the Doom and Friller Rabka. The Watt Adjustment one I mentioned earlier. We have a few packs left after this one. We have five packs left on the right side. Still not a single Xyz monster. I know it did make them significantly harder to get just by making them exclusively shatter foil. Um, so that's that's that. But we have zero gravity, and our shatter foil is Gen X ally Bellflame, and a Dodger Dragon for our rare. Pretty cool card art. Uh, I think actually he's on one of the packs, if I'm not mistaken. A Spellbook of Wisdom, which I'm sure is probably quite. Uh, sought after with spellbooks being one of the most OP um, archetypes <laughs> in existence. I don't know if they still are with with the uh, newest ban list, but I know they destroy in Millennium Duels, and it's disgusting. Yeah, there we go. There's Dodger Dragon right there uh, on that pack. So let's open up our Dodger Dragon pack. Oh, come on, Digusto Emerald. We have Miracle Locust for our first common. A d oh shit! Look at that! Yes! God damn it! Yes! A Shatter Foil Digusto Emerald, twenty-four dollar card, right off the bat. I will set him up just right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Right when I ask for it too. I should do that more often. A rare Blizzard Dragon. I can honestly could not be happier now. Unless we got a second one, that would be fantastic. But. Herald of Green Light and the Immortal Bushy and the Miracle Locust we mentioned earlier. Awesome. Already one Digusto Emerald. So happy with that. So happy. On to our Skelosaurus pack. Another one. Gosh, that's excellent. So I'm very happy with this pack so far. Our common is Psy Station. Our uh, Shatter Foil is Kawaki Miro War Arms. <clears throat> Excuse me, our rare here is Chao Len the Prophet. And our other two commons are Time, Esca Time Escaper and X Saber Airbellum. Frickin' Digusto Emerald. Right when I said, come on, Digusto Emerald. Uh, let's see, where else can I keep him? I'll just keep him right there for now. Actually, you know what we can do? We can move these guys over. And we could have him, and if we get an Alucard, put it right there. <clears throat> Alright. We have no entry, none at all. Our Shatter Foil is a Vylon Ohm. Our Rare is Disc Blade Rider. And then our Commons are Premature Burial, very nice. And Sea Koala. Not to be confused with the Vampire Koala that will give you life points when it inflicts damage. Which actually makes sense in the context of a Vampire Koala, because it sucks life and restores its own life force. Except it's restoring your life force. Pretty cool, actually, if you think about it. Trying to keep these packs as intact as possible. There we go. I know there's duplicate packs, too, but uh, uh, you never know. Um... Okay, we have Earthquake as our first common. Our Shatter Foil is Blue Thunder T45. Our rare is Tardy Orc with the Tory Bus from the Underworld in the background there. A Super Rush Recklessly, a Super Bull Rush, uh, and a Cyber Phoenix for our other common. I shall want for nothing more now that we already got our Digusto Emerald, but an Alucard would be very cool. Because I've actually never seen that card. I've never seen Ghost Trick Alucard. I don't know what it looks like. But uh, Alucard is obviously a Castlevania character, another Konami franchise, one of my favorites actually. So let's hope they were true to his design there. Um, although I feel like they probably were not, because it's Konami and Konami hates you. Uh, first common is Fusion Sword Murasame Blade. Our Shatter Foil is. Night Beam, very cool, a Shatterfoil Night Beam, and a rare Toon Gemini Elf. I have a friend that plays Toons, so that's actually pretty cool to see. Um, and our other commons are the Warrior Returning Alive and uh, Tree Otter. 
So very cool there. And that is it for the right side, as you can see. So we're going to move on to the uh, to the left side of packs here. 18 more packs to go. I know this has been pretty long, but uh, just bear with me. A little bit longer. Stop caring so much about these packs. Get on with the video. Uh, Raging Mad Plants, our uh, Shattered Foils X Saber Air Bellum, another rare Blizzard Dragon, and then a Polynosis and Psychic Jumper for our commons. Next pack here uh, a Zero Gravity and a Cursed Armaments for our Shatter Foil, an Eye Iron for our rare and then card advance and magical undertaker for our other commons not too bad there we have wonder wand for our first common our shatter foil is madolce bopple bopple there's two it looks like a sheep it's two okay and Black Brachios. You know, I have a friend who really likes dinosaurs, too, so maybe he'd be interested in these dinosaur cards. Who knows? And then Burst Breath and Gunogo are our other commons there. Skelosaurus pack here. And Earthquake. Our Shatterfoil is Jurak Protops. A Trident Warrior is our rare, you can see there. A Iyer's Rock Sunrise and Black Stego, a classic from uh, the first Yu-Gi-Oh! game, um, Decade Duels. Our first common out of this pack here is Mask of Brutality. A Shatterfoil Arsenal Bug, a rare, excuse me, Mizuki. Another Spellbook of Wisdom common, and a Defender the Magical Knight are our commons. Next pack here. Still don't know what this monster is. Hopefully we'll find out. First common here is Unbreakable Spirit, a Fusion Sword Murasame Blade for our Shatter, Kiron the Mage, rare, a Breakthrough Skill common, very cool, and a Freya Spirit of Victory for the rest of our commons. Our other next pack here, we have Noble Arms Caliburn. Not to be confused with Kelly Bourne, if there's any Homestuck fans. Our Shatterfoil is Kawaki Miru Doom. Our rare is Mudora. As you can see there. And then the rest of our commons are Recycling Batteries and Frontier Wise Man. There we go. Hopefully we can round out the Forbidden Trio. That'd be very nice. But a common Forbidden Chalice. Our first card here. Our shatter is Kiron the Mage, and we have a black, another black Velocity rare. A pinpoint guard is our common, and another a gyroid is our other common. So that's pretty cool as well. And the autofocus is going crazy on this thing. Um, Murmur of the Forest is our first common. Our Shatter Foil is Eye Iron, so we've gotten two of him rare, one of him Shatter. A Kawaki Miru Drago, uh, very cool, is our rare. A Book of Life, awesome. Very happy about that one. Book of Moon I know is also worth quite a bit in this pack also. A Rigorous Reaver uh, and Murmur of the Forest, which we said already, was our common. Nice, nice, a metal morph, 
is one of the cards in here. I had Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, or Metal Dragon, whatever it was, and I didn't have Metal Morph, so I traded away Red Eyes Metal Dragon, so that Black Metal Dragon, so that wasn't very fun. But uh, Metal Morph is our common we have for our Shatterfoil. Dragon's Gunfire, but except for how dragons don't wield guns, but whatever. Arsenal Bug is our, um, our rare. And then we have Banner of Courage and Mechlord Army of Granel for our commons. Come on, give me at least one other Xyz, preferably Alucard. I think there's like 30 Xyz monsters or something like that that you can get. Only Shatterfoil, so it's really a testament to luck that we got Digusto Emerald, which is the one we wanted. Uh, skill successors are common. Our Shatterfoil is a Mizuki Shatterfoil, making one rare, one Shatter that we have. An Ancient Gear Knight for our rare, and Psychic Reactor, and Air Rorca. Air Orca. Air Rorca. It is an Orca Whale with wings, which, is, which would surely be a terrifying thing to come across. Alright, so we have another Skelosaurus pack here. Looks like a Dark Lord card. Looks like Hot Deaths on the back there. Uh, Hate Buster. Our Shatterfoil is Victory Viper XX03. Uh, Sunlight Unicorn. Alright then. That's, that's our rare. Psychokinesis and Lord Poison for our other commons. Uh, after this one, we have five packs left on this side. So six packs left right now. A Blast with Chain is our first card. Our Shatter is Stego Cyber. Actually, really cool card art if you look at that. That is really, really cool. Um, our Rare is Evil Swarm Ketos. Pretty cool. And our other two commons are Intrigue Shield and Gauntlet Warrior. So that is pretty excellent. Come on. Alrighty, we have Pyramid of Wonders, which is an upside-down blue pyramid, if you can see there. Uh, our Shatter is a Shatterfoil Sunlight Unicorn, as opposed to our rare one that we just got. A rare Lion Alligator. A Quantum Cat and Evil Hero Infernal Gainer for our other commons there. So four packs left on the left side, four packs left in the box, I should say. We have Inspiration for our first common, Black Velocity, uh, Shatterfoil, a Kawaki Miru Sandman for our um, rare, and he's actually on this pack. He's one of the representative cards on this uh, on this pack. A common Swords of Concealing Light to go with our Shatter one, and a Madolce Bopple also to go with our Shatter foil one. Three packs left, counting down here. We have our something dragon, don't remember the name of it. Ew, a Blackwing support card. Disgusting. Uh, Windstorm of Itaka, not actually a Blackwing support, just, uh, just a card that frequently goes with it. But Windstorm of Itaka, our Shatter's card trooper, very nice. A Golden Flying Fish for our rare. Regeki Bottle. Interesting. Each time a monster you control declares an attack, place one Thunder Counter. You can send this card with four Thunder Counters to graveyard to destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Not bad. Not bad at all. Kind of interesting. I'll leave that there. A Sacred Crane was our other common in the Windstorm, which we mentioned earlier. Two packs left. Come on. Come on, Ghost Trick Alucard. Where are you at? Where are you at? So, or Book of Moon. I'll take that, but this is not Book of Moon. A Book of Eclipse, definitely an interesting card. Uh, we have Miniature Eyes for our Shatter. A Night Day Greffer, which we already have one of, rare. A Common Dragon's Gunfire, and a Vylon Ohm for our other commons. This is it. This is the last one. The Pack of Destiny, right here. Can we get another Xyz Monster? Can we get another Digusto Emerald in here? That would be ideal. However, I'm a realistic person, if anything, so I don't think that's going to happen. 
but just for the hell of it, let's make this one a nice surprise. We have Psy Curse for our first common, Exploder Dragon for our other common, a Butterfly Oki for our third common, and our Shatter is a Murmur of the Forest, so no more Hexes Monsters. And a Mist Valley Falcon is our rare there, so that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so I'm actually pretty happy with this pack. Um, we got a bunch of random shatter foil cards, a bunch of random rares, but we got ourselves, start with the interesting ones first here, a Book of Life and a Book of Eclipse, a Regeki Bottle, Dark Bribe, and a Forbidden Dress, and I'm pretty sure we got a Forbidden Chalice, but I didn't put it off to the side for whatever reason. Uh, so those are the interesting cards, and then of course we have the MVP of this episode, Digusto Emerald. So leave a like on this video for the Shatterfoil Digusto Emerald, which you know I don't normally enjoy Xyz cards, but this means I made my money back in the box, which means I can buy more and open more for you guys, so that's pretty excellent. Um, I do sell these, by the way, on eBay if anyone does want them. Uh, you just look up Colin554, because I didn't wasn't clever enough back when I made my eBay name to... Uh, um, do who banged Miss K? I hadn't thought of it yet. So, uh, anyway, there's that. If you guys want that, I'll put a link in the description as well if you ever want to get any of these cards. Um, but other than that, leave a like for Digusto Emerald for that clutch pull of Digusto Emerald. Um, favorite and shares you guys do on the YouTubes, and like and subs not like and subscribe. All the YouTube stuff. Just subscribe, do all that stuff. Uh, my name has been Who Banged Miss K. I thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later.